Hi, this is Brian Forster, and today we're exploring La Venta Park, which is located in Villa Hermosa in Mexico. And we're going to be studying the mysterious and fascinating Olmec culture that existed between 1500 BC and supposedly about 400 BC. And I honestly don't think that academics, or at least some of them, don't understand this ancient culture very well, as you will see. Now, Villa Hermosa is a city of a million people. And so in this video, it looks like we're in the middle of the jungle, but in fact, we're in the middle of a city of approximately, or at least a million people. And if it wasn't for this man, most of the artifacts that you're going to see would probably have been destroyed by the by the uh, petroleum industry that moved into the area early in the last century. So here, very much a jungle-like atmosphere. And these are some of the basalt artifacts that are in the Laventa Park. Now this one is supposedly, or is called, the grandmother. But why they're calling it that, I have no idea. It's a human, obviously, but why a grandmother? And then this one called the Bearded Man. Now that up on top is not the Bearded Man. That's actually what some ancient alien theorists believe is an astronaut. And here we see the Bearded Man. Could be. And then these really fascinating natural basalt columns. These were naturally formed and harvested by the Olmec people to build fencing, for one thing, and also tombs. So here is the actual tomb reconstructed. All of these artifacts were moved several miles from their original location, again, because of possible destruction. And this gives you more of an idea of the reconstructed tomb. And then there's a large slab of limestone in the interior that could have been the lid of a coffin of some kind. And many more of these basalt columns. Again, they're natural and the chosen material used by the Olmec for their statuary tended to be basalt because there's a lot of it in the area where they originally lived. Now we have a classic, <coughs> excuse me, basalt Olmec head weighing probably in the neighborhood of 10 tons. I believe less than 20 of these have been found and they weigh somewhere in the region of 10 to 20 tons apiece. Then we have this one, which is another one of the classic basalt Olmec heads. And for some reason, this one is called the Young Warrior. You can see that it's been weathering quite badly, but that's kind of normal, one would think, being in a tropical location for possibly 3,000 years. And this one is very crude. You can see all of the, the scarring and the fact that it's eroded quite badly. So Laventa Park is a beautiful place to experience aspects of the, of the um, Olmec culture if you happen to be near Via Hermosa. And this one is simply is called quadrangular, which it is but it doesn't really describe who this person, this effigy of this person was. And then this is a classic one that I believe is called Mother and Child. Notice the possibility of uh, an elongated head. The Olmec did do cranial deformation, as did the later Maya civilization. And of course, the most classic being the Paracas of the coast of Peru. So we don't see any actual megalithic um, housing creations by the Olmec. They had no metal tools whatsoever, so they were shaping basalt stone such as this with 
possibly harder basalt. And this one is quite classic. It's called the Governor, and some people say it looks very similar to a pharaoh's headdress from Egypt, but trying to say there's a connection between the Olmec and the Egyptians just based on that headdress is kind of pushing it too far. And then this one badly damaged, possibly as the result of the petroleum industry. You can see the face, probably a jaguar human uh, representation. And then here, this is quite an intriguing one. I believe this has faces of owls on it. Yes, which you can now see here. You see the two, possibly three owl faces. And as we move farther along, The human-like jaguar, so a transformation uh, symbol of a human jaguar. Again, that's a supposition. And this one is a little more obvious. Cetacean, as in whale. And you can see it does look quite whale-like. And monkey looking to the sky. This one is quite intriguing because it actually looks like a very modern style of sculpture. And it could be very, very well be unique in the Olmec culture. It's the only one I've seen of its kind. But again, it looks very contemporary.